Good afternoon. This is Rob J with Solo Harmonics once again. Uh, today we're going to do another video. Um, this time it's going to be based on classical music. We rocked out in the last video, so this time we're going to slow it down and make things a little more classic. Anyway, um, I love classical music. I probably don't listen to enough of it. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm doing this video because I hope you all enjoyed the video on uh, the Mars Bringer of Too Many Wars, which is my version of Mars Bringer of War. So I thought I'd do a follow-up video and explain how I did that a little bit and when I did that and so on. Uh, first of all, the original composer to that uh, Mars Bringer of War was Gustav Holst. And he did a whole album on the various planets. And back in his time, I think there was only seven planets. He did Mercury, the Messenger, Venus, uh, the, mess, uh, the Bringer of Peace, I believe it is. Um, and then Mars, the Bringer of War. Saturn, the Bringer of Old Age. Jupiter, the Bringer of Validity. Neptune, the Mystic. And it might have been either Uranus or Pluto. I'm not quite sure which one. I can't remember. I think it was Pluto. But um, anyway, now Pluto's not classified as a planet any longer. Just a rock sitting out in space, basically. <laughs> but anyway, Gustav Holst was the original composer and uh, of the planets, as you see pictured here. However, there were our there were other artists that covered the planets as well, and one of them is Iseo Tomita, who's pictured here. Iseo Tomita was a, Japan, uh, was a Japanese um, composer. Um, he was real popular throughout the 70s and early 80s as far as his music is concerned because what was interesting about Tomita was he composed all of his music utilizing the, the uh, modular Moog synthesizer. Um, very similar to Wendy Carlos. Wendy Carlos is another great classical composer, especially switched on Bach. Um, anyway, Iseo Tomita um, did several classical albums, and he did his version of the planets, which I have right here. No, wait, that's the wrong one. Let's try that again. Okay, Tomita, the planets, right here. So he did his version utilizing the synthesizer. Um, also, another band that did uh, uh, the planets, or at least Mars Bringer of War anyway, was Emerson, Lake, and Powell. Um, Keith Emerson, Greg Lake, and Cozy Powell. Keith Emerson was the keyboard player, and he also played a massive mode modular system as well. As a matter of fact, he was famous for that in his stage setups and live shows. So Emerson, Lake, and Powell, which is also Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, the only difference between the two is Carl Palmer was drummer with that uh, lineup. Here, Cozy Powell was drummer in this lineup. But Mars, the bringer of war, was covered on that as well. Great music. And uh, all these artists did such a fantastic job with uh, the planets. And uh, if you never heard the planets, I, I highly recommend it. You got to listen to it. You got to, you know, just get a quiet time, headphones or just open air with your speakers. You know, don't get distracted. Listen to the planets. It's just great music. Um, also, Tomita that we just mentioned earlier, he does a lot of other classical music as well. For example, uh, let's see here, Bolero, uh, Fanfare by Strauss, um, Symphony Number no. 5, um, uh, let's see here, there's a Firebird Suite as well, pictures at an exhibition, and he covered a whole uh, slew of classical composers, including um, Snowflakes Are Dancing, um, that uh, I have that as well, I just don't have it here with me, and um, like I said, great music, and Electronically hearing that music in a class, you hear classical music electronically by Tomitas is fantastic. Uh, so, 
Then uh, we also have right here pictured the best of classical music, which is the lineup of Bach, uh, Beethoven, Mozart, and George Washington. George Washington? <laughs> I'm, <sorry. laughs> I'm only kidding. It's not George Washington. It's just It looks a little like George Washington, but he has a red coat on. That doesn't look good either, right? <laughs> Why, he wouldn't? He'd have a blue coat on, not a red coat, right? Okay, but anyway. <laughs> um, classical music. Now, the Casio CTX3000 is interesting because it has some internal songs that are pre-programmed in there. And there's a lot of classical music that's on there. And I might cover some in just a few minutes. Um, let me check our time and see where we are. And then I'll carry on. We are at five minutes. Good. Six minutes. Okay. So what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to um, play a little bit of the, what you heard in the Mars Ring of War at the end, during the end credits, and how I did that. So what we have is we have a string line, which is 227, um, layered with um, the percussion orchestra set number 787, which is mostly percussion sounds. <laughs> That's how we do that. And then of course we have it layered with a string line. Uh, as well um, in that lineup that you probably heard. Um, I think it starts out like that and I went up an octave. Thank you very much Oberheim for your great instrument there. Uh, all right so Classical music, and we're going to uh, continue on here. So, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to uh, go into the song bank, and I'm going to play some of the classical music that is in the song bank. And we're going to uh, cover, let's see, so, if I can remember how to start and stop this one. There we go. Canon, or the, I think that's how you pronounce the Pachelbel Canon. I'm not sure if I pronounced it correctly, but we'll start that anyway. Tomita also done the Canon as well. Very familiar piece of music.
that's a little bit of the cannon for you. Now the next one we're going to do is uh, let's see. This one's called Nocturne or Nocturnal. pretty much it. There's some more music on there as well and then uh, there's also the Nutcracker Suite as well which is really cool but that we'll wait till Christmas time to play that one. <laughs> um, anyway the cast did a great job. I like how they put the classical music in there. It's just straight piano but it sounds fantastic especially with these speakers and everything. Um, so classical music not only on original instruments like uh, Violins, violas, cellos, kettle drums or timpani drums, percussion, um, but uh, and of course orchestral strings and what have you, but electronically as well by Iseo Tamita. Um, you have got to check out Iseo Tamita and Emerson Lake and Powell. If you don't do anything else the rest of your life, check them out <laughs> if you've never heard them or heard of them. Um, but also keep in mind and listen to some other classical music, the original composers and, you know, enjoy music, have fun with it. That's what I do, you know, and I learn as I go and, you know, I'm not a classically trained composer, but I've had a lot of music lessons. I've taken guitar, I've taken guitar, excuse me, piano, percussion. So you know, throughout school and what have you, but I'm pretty much self-taught and I play by ear mostly. As far as reading music is, is concerned, that's a skill that I'm going to have to work on and develop. Um, but hey, all I need is time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I enjoyed making it and uh, stay tuned for more projects in the future because I've got lots of ideas and lots of things in the works. So thank you for listening and watching. This is RJ. Well, Rob J. from Solo Harmonics, good day.